In this very quick lesson, we're just going to take a look at how we can protect or lock our worksheet, but still keep the slicers active so that we can use them. Now we're working on the dashboard that we created in the last lesson. And if you recall, we added some slicers into the dashboard. So we have select a country down the left hand side, and then we also have some slicers just above this chart on the right. And if we select any of the slicers, then you'll see that everything on this dashboard updates. I'm going to right click and I'm going to say clear filter from country just to reset everything back to how it was. Now it might be that you want to send this workbook or this worksheet to somebody else and you don't actually want them editing any of the charts or the data in the table that you've created. But you still want them to be able to filter and slice these charts by accessing the slices on the side. Now, if we were just to go up to the review tab and say protect sheet or protect workbook, then it's going to lock all of the slices, meaning we can't click on them to use them to filter our data. So what we're aiming for here is to find a method that allows us to lock the worksheet, but still keeps the slices active. And this is really, really simple. The first thing you need to do is you need to go to the first slicer, right click and go to size and properties at the bottom. Now it's going to open up this little floating menu. You can drag it over to dock it on the side if you want. And in the properties section, notice that we have locked at the bottom. And currently this is checked. Now the first thing we want to do is we want to unlock the slicer. So we're going to deselect it so that this slicer is now unlocked. And I'm going to do exactly the same for this slice over here. So we're going to right click size and properties and we're going to deselect locked and close. Now that we have these unlocked, we can go to protect sheet or protect workbook. Now I'm going to go for protect sheet. You have the option to add a password. I'm not going to in this example, but you could if you wanted to. And then we just need to make a couple of changes in here. So what you see in here are the parts of the spreadsheet that you're going to allow users to change, despite the fact that we've protected it. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to deselect select locked cells and I'm going to select use pivot table and pivot charts. So now when we click on OK, you'll find that if we try and click in cells on the worksheet, we actually can't do it. If I try and click in the table and maybe make a change, I'm going to get an error message because effectively all of these cells are locked. However, if I go over to the slicer, I can freely use the slicer, which will update everything in the pivot tables, the pivot charts and the formulas, but I can't change anything else. I can even right click and clear the filter from the country to put everything back again. So that's a really simple method if you want to lock the entire workbook to prevent changes, but keep the slices active. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.